test the spirits, false Christs and prophets. Test the spirits whether they are of God. When you accept spiritual knowledge it is very important to seriously examine its origin. You shouldn't need to scrutinize it because you are responsible for your soul yourselves, which can only benefit from the truth but whose higher development is endangered by misguided spiritual information. If you are offered spiritual concepts, that is knowledge which cannot be verified by earthly means, you need to subject it to serious investigation. You should know that light and darkness fight each other, that the prince of darkness fights against pure truth, that he will try anything to lead people into wrong thinking and not even shy away from shrouding himself in the garment of an angel in order to deceive people. But you can expose him yourselves, you can test which spirit conveys spiritual knowledge to you. And the criteria you should consider under serious examination are, whether the conveyed mental information proclaims Jesus Christ as Son of God and Redeemer of the world, whether its message consists of his doctrine of love and that you are reminded to follow Jesus. If so, then you may unconditionally accept it and address God himself as the source of knowledge conveyed to you, then you may endorse it as divine truth. You need not fear to be pushed into misguided thinking by the spirit of darkness, for he will never acknowledge Jesus Christ, who has delivered the world from sin. False Christs and false prophets will arise, and particularly during the last days before the end. They will speak the name of Jesus Christ with their mouth and yet they will not be true messengers of his divine teaching of love because they themselves will not do as they preach or their teachings are of a worldly nature, therefore they will not be recognizable as true Christians. And this verbal confession is frequently a disguise which hides the enemy of truth, they will not truly believe in Jesus' words, which he spoke on earth, or in his promises, for they lack love, the sign of a true follower of Jesus. Consequently their words will be without spirit, they will be without strength, they cannot be considered as purely divine truth and also need to be seriously scrutinized. But you can make this test any time if you, in the sincere desire for truth, ask God himself for his help to enlighten your spirit, to guide your thoughts correctly and to teach you to always differentiate between truth and error and everyone who desires the Spirit of God will receive it. Amen.